In this tutorial, we will model a ball bearing. So we will draw the individual parts and then we will assemble them using the appropriate constraints. So let's start by drawing the outer brace. So let's start a 2D sketch and we'll select the XY plane. We'll draw the profile for this and revolve it. So let's draw in this rectangular profile and dimension the total width of our ball bearing to be 62 millimeters. And then we'll dimension between this line and the origin at 106 mil, and then between the origin and this upper line here at 130 mil. I'm just going to use the vertical constraint between the center point of this line and the origin, make sure that's in the correct place. And then we just need to put in our arc. So for this, I'm going to draw a circle. And that circle will be uh, the diameter of the ball bearings, which will be 48 millimeters. And I just want to dimension the center point of that circle to this line as 16 millimeters. And then finally, we'll put in a vertical constraint between the center point of this circle and the origin so that we know it's exactly uh, in the correct position. That's fully constrained. We'll go to 3D model and we will revolve this profile here. So let's go and revolve, zoom out a little bit, select that profile. And for the axis, we'll use one of the default axis. So that'll be the X axis. So we can see here the red line. And here we have the preview. That's correct. So we'll press OK. And we'll just finish off that part by giving it a polished steel appearance. Be this one. That's looking good. So that's our outer race. And we'll save that part. So we'll title that outer race. Press save. OK. And next we will do the inner race. So the same procedure here, we'll start a 2D sketch on the XY plane. We'll draw in uh, that profile like so. Just dimension the width, which will be the same as the outer race. So 62 mil. Just use the vertical constraint between the center point of this line and the origin. Then we'll just dimension between this line and the origin at 50 mil. And then the top line and the origin at 74 mil. Now we'll put in our arc, so it'll be on this line here. So draw in a circle like so, and I just vertically constrain that to the origin. Then I'm going to dimension that circle as 48 mils. That's the diameter of the ball. And then we'll dimension between the center point and this line here at 16 millimeters also. So here's our profile. Let's go ahead and revolve this. Select revolve. Choose this profile here. And for the axis, we'll again choose the X axis here so we can see in red. That's correct. Press OK. And I'll just give that the same appearance. So that would be a polished uh, steel appearance. Like so. We'll click Save on that and we'll save that as the inner race. And next we'll draw the ball bearing itself. So let's start a 2D sketch. Start this on the XY plane. We'll draw in a circle starting at the origin. So this would be the diameter of the ball. So in this case, it's 48 millimeters. We'll just draw in a line coming from the top quadrant to the lower quadrant. And then we're going to 3D model and we'll revolve one of these profiles. So let's choose this one. And we'll select our axis to be our center line here. It's OK. And there we have our ball bearing. Let's give that an appearance. Um, uh, let's just go with the gold appearance and press save and call that all bearing. OK. And the last part to draw is the cage. So let's start a 2D sketch again on the XY plane and we'll draw two circles from the origin. The first will be 172 millimeters. The other one will be 188 millimeters. Go to 3D model and we'll extrude uh, this profile here. Extrude that by 32 millimeters, should be enough. And then we'll draw a sketch on this face here. So we'll make the cutouts in which the ball bearings will sit about the cage. So to do this, let's draw in a straight line between these two circles, put that as a construction line. And then we use the circle uh, and draw at the midpoint of this line at 48 millimeters. And then we'll just put in a straight line again from the from the top quadrant to the lower quadrant. Go on 3D model and we'll revolve cut that profile there. So we'll select 
these three profiles uh, for the axis. Select this axis here. Make sure that we're cutting and press OK. Now add some fillets to these sharp edges here. So we'll select those two and we'll put in a five mil fillet. Press OK. And now let's circular pattern uh, these two features here. So we're going to pattern under circular, select the revolution, so that'd be the cut, cut revolution, and also the fillets. And for the rotation axis, uh, we can just select the axis of this face here. Let's go with uh, eight iterations, uh, spread evenly across 360 degrees. That's looking good. And then we can go ahead and remove any material we don't want to uh, keep using the shell command. So the faces we wish to remove are the top face, the back face, and this underside face here. And so the thickness we want to keep, let's do two millimeters. It's okay. There we have our ball bearing cage. That's looking good. Let's give that an appearance. Uh, again, we'll go with a blue appearance. We'll click save there. We'll save this as the cage. Let's enter. Okay. And finally, we just want to assemble all of these parts together. So I've opened up a new assembly file and I will go on place. And first we'll put in the outer race in the center like so. Then we'll also put in the inner race. Uh, we'll put in one ball bearing. We'll put in two cages. So the ball bearing uh, we can pan later. Let's use the constraint tool. Select this face here and this face. So this is a concentric constraint. Click apply. And then let's choose the constraint again between this face here. Let's use a flush constraint with this face here. Click apply. Okay, that's looking good. Now we'll position our ball. So for this, we will select the YZ plane. We will constrain that with the YZ plane of the outer race. Click apply. Yeah, that's looking good. And now we need to constrain that with the inner race here. So let's select the X Z plane and for the inner race we will select the uh, X Z plane also constrain those two together click apply that's looking good we just need to put in a tangential constraint now let's go and constrain select the tangent constraint and we'll select this profile here and this ball and we'll select inside apply come out of that and then if we rotate our inner race, we can see that's functioning uh, as we like. So let's go ahead and pattern the ball bearing. So go and assemble, uh, go on pattern. And for the component, we'll select the ball bearing. We want to circular pattern that around this axis here. We want to have eight instances. And so for this case, we'll do 360 divided by eight, which is 45 degrees. It's okay. And again, we'll just rotate the inner race and we can see that's functioning correctly. We just now need to input the cages. So let's take one of these across here and one at the back. And I'm going to free rotate these. So I just put them roughly in position. Move this one over here, free rotate. This will be the back one. Okay. Okay, so let's select cage two. And we'll select the X axis for that. We'll constrain with the outer race. Uh, which axis will that be? That will be the X axis also. So constrain those two together. OK. And just move that away. Next, we'll choose the Y Z plane. We'll constrain that with this face here. Let's apply. It's looking good. Now we just need to position uh, our cage in the correct place. So to do this, let's choose this plane here. So the Y, Z, we'll place that with the inner race. That would be matched with this plane here. Okay. Let's just rotate that. Yeah, we can see everything's functioning there correctly. That's great. Let's then rotate the part. We'll do exactly the same for this cage here. So this is our cage one. Select the Z plane to start with. We'll constrain that with the X axis of the outer race apply. Just move that out. Then we'll go and constrain between this face here and this face here. 
Now we just need to put that at the correct angle. And so we'll select the uh, this plane here, choose the inner race, and we'll go with this plane here. Constraint, apply, just rotate that inner race. Yep, that's functioning exactly uh, as we desire. Check that on both sides. I'm just going to go on view, go to half section view, put that half section down the YZ plane of the outer race. Click OK. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so the ball bearings are in face contact uh, as designed. And we are rotating as designed as well. Let's come out of that. OK, so that is the complete ball bearing. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments section and I'll reply as soon as I can. But I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.